What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and I have a super unique one for you today. Uh, as a lot of you probably know, Halo Infinite uh, early released their multiplayer recently this past week marking the 20th anniversary of Halo. And if you're like me, you probably grew up playing these games. As you know on this channel we do typically Python and other software tutorial series. We've done apps, we've done widgets, and we've done just base Python programming as well as a few games. And I thought what would be super fun in honor of the Halo release as if we did a little bit of a uh, Halo kind of Space Invaders style game. I'm going to start every video in the series by kind of demoing the game so that you guys see what the end goal is and hopefully think that that's something worth building to. So I'm going to demo the game that we built here a little bit and I am pretty proud of it. You can hear just kind of the epic soundtrack in the background. I've, I've left instructions for how to play and said, you know, click anywhere to begin. So. Let's get into it. We've got a little, uh, some soundtrack playing in the background. I've got some sound effects. The enemies in each wave are uh, automatically spawned in and they kind of randomly pick heights to spawn in from and I've set them up with a specific speed to come in at. And I've added some impact sound effects that maybe aren't the greatest. Um, I've also made it to where each wave increases the number of enemies so you can see we're on level two now and we should have more enemies i got these little uh 8-bit halo icons from the internet um and in the series in the actual tutorials i'll talk through kind of how to grab images how to scale them all to the size that you want um, as well as there's a free tool on the internet for removing the background from images so if you've dealt with kind of the super annoying like you pull in an image you want to use and you have that like white rectangle around it no worries uh, we'll go over how to do that too game over all right so there we go so that's the game demo and whatever stage of the project you're at and following along with uh, hope you're enjoying it be sure to leave a like on the channel a subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying it and uh, good luck with your code all right, so the final part in this Halo Space Invaders tutorial series that we're going to throw in is going to be adding music and adding sounds, um, level up, game over, start, um, background music, all that stuff. And that's a, it's also a great bit of Pygame tutorial as well. So just like we loaded in all of our images for our player and our background and everything, we're going to load in the sounds. And um, so to use music, you want to use pygame.mixer. And just like with fonts, you um, initialize it when you start the program up. And that's going to um, allow you to use all the Pygame mixer functions uh, later on. So then uh, we're going to go ahead and load in the music first. And it's mixer.music.load. I have this audio folder just like I had an image folder and it's a uh, it's got all of my um, files that I need in it. So it's pygame.mixer.music.load and then point it in your um, file path audio halo song.wav and full disclosure guys don't use copyrighted music if you want to make any money off of your games if you're trying to build something that could be um, like put on a website or played without having to pay royalties this is just for a tutorial it's just for me to play at home and so i'm using an actual halo song uh, you're going to want to get some royalty free music or make your own music if you want to be able to use it in a commercial setting but uh, then uh, after you load in the file you want to set the volume so that's not overbearing and so for the music I'll say 0.7 that's um, it's on a 0 to 1 scale and 0.7 is pretty good for music it's okay to have that as kind of the loudest um, thing in your game because it, it is uh, kind of the continuous playing in the background thing so then it's a little bit different to pull in sound effects. So pygame.mixer.sound, and then uh, we'll say that's in audio forward slash, and I think I called it start.mp3. Okay. And I'll get uh, I'll get this going just with the start and the game over, and then the uh, 
and then the background music and we'll play it with that and then i'll kind of talk about how you could add in um additional sound effects like level up or shooting or lasers or enemies and how to kind of incorporate those as well but so i've got um a like a, a british male voice saying start and then game over um at the beginning and at the end and so uh you want to grab those files there are places on the internet that'll let you um have free mp3 files uh and so just um you know a, a little bit of light googling and you can get yourself some some pretty good sound effects for free uh, YouTube also has a sound library for creators, so if you're not sure where to get stuff that you're allowed to use um, for free, then check that out as well, I recommend. Even if you don't actually make YouTube videos, um, you can create like a, a, you can go to YouTube Studio and their sound library and have access to royalty-free music, so that's just nice to know. And then uh, what we're doing here, we're just loading in the files, all three of the files, and uh, this one I called the game over. Got to spell it right. There it is. Okay, and then I'm setting volume for all of them as well, just so none of them absolutely blow out the speakers. Game over voice dot set volume point seven. Alrighty, so the last thing you do uh, with your music, um, and you could make it to where this executes at the start of your run loop. I'm just gonna drop it right here so the music starts playing at the very beginning of the game. But you could put this same line, this music.play, you could put it inside of your running loop and not until you clicked start on the, uh, on the start menu would that play. But uh, let's stick the start voice and the game over voice where they're going to go. And then we'll play the game and we'll actually hear if our sound effects are working or not. So down in the start menu, which is the last thing we made in the previous video, <clears throat> we said this is when we're going to start the main loop, when the mouse button down is clicked. And so we're going to add one more thing. We're going to say start voice dot play. And this is how you call a sound effect. I'm going to copy it when we use game over. Um, okay, so we're saying when you click start on the menu after dying or at the very beginning of the game, that's when we want start voice to play. And then what, when we want game over to play is, uh, when we first, uh, have this negative health condition. So if lives is less than or equal to zero or player health is less than or equal to zero, we want to have start.voice.play. But the problem is this is true for a few seconds because the way we have it linger on that screen and we only want this to play once. So to avoid having it say game over, over and over and over again while we're waiting in that five seconds, let's just do something that's only going to run the first time. If game over is equal to false, then we want to run game over voice right so we're just checking um, and this should only execute the first time it notices that you're dead hopefully um, so let's go ahead and run that hopefully the music now is working and start and game over all right and this song gets me hyped <laughs> start so there we got start We'll add a little bit of sound for these bullets. That'll be cooler. A little impact sound. Um, and let's see if I can die real quick. And let's listen for game over. Game over. Yeah. All right, that's pretty sweet. I'm going to hit start again. Play a second time. Start. There we go. We hear the same sound works multiple times. And the game over voice. And this is uh, starting to be like an actual game that's just like awesome to play. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and take a look at just a few things that could take this. I think just uh, over the top. Um, you could get a library of songs like if you had different songs and you wanted it to pick one you could use that rand range that we used for like spawning the enemies and you could uh, pick any integer from like a list of songs if you wanted it to change or you wanted it to change with each level or anything like that um, those are totally the sorts of things to just um, 
just sort of play around with and make it your own game in time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab a impact sound and I'm just going to um, overuse it like you probably would want a different sound for the enemy bullets and the players bullets I have audio we could um, split it out and use a different one for like each shot but I'm just gonna use one impact for now um, just to show like where you would put it how you would incorporate that and that's another thing I just think you should like play around with and make it uh, kind of customized to whatever you're picturing for your game so let me grab impact.mp3. We're going to set it a little bit quieter because impact happens uh, quite a bit more often. So set volume, and we'll say 0.3 should be plenty loud for it. 0.4, that'll work. Okay, and now we're going to come down and we're going to say like when we shoot an enemy, so when the player collides with an enemy, that's when we want impact to play. We'll say um, when the enemy hits us, we'll play that sound as well. It's not like a particularly cool sound. Like it's not like a, a good alien dying or person getting hit noise. Um, but that's kind of the beauty of playing around with the sounds here at the end. Um, so let's take a look at this. If the enemy and the player collide, then we'll play the impact sound uh, let's copy this. If the enemy goes off screen, we'll play the impact sound. Um, we'll say if the player hits an enemy, we'll play impact. So let's take a look. Where does that occur? Impact, 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 collide. Do, 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 do. Well, that's, that's probably enough. I mean, you... Um, you guys are going to get the idea and you're going to be really sick of this sound already. Um, I believe it's probably inside of the checking for collision inside the player's uh, shooting function. But let's just go ahead here and run it real quick. Start. And see if we run into these guys. Yeah. Okay, and if they run into the screen. And you can set it to where... If when they shoot you, we have that sound occur as well. So that would be inside of the collision for the projectile class. Let's see here. Character move shots. If it hits the player, we'll take 10 health away. And then let's go inside the player's move shots. And if it collides, let's do that. Okay, so this should probably now that little like it kind of sound. I think it's actually called like arrow in target, but like Stop. anytime anything collides now, it should make that little noise. All right, you hear that? It's when we hit the player, when when that we hit the enemies, when the enemies hit us, um, when we run into the enemies. You'd probably want more than one impact sound. You might want a shooting sound like a laser or a bullet or something, but now you have the tools to be able to do that on your own. And honestly, this tutorial series has taken a lot out of me, so I'm going to call it there. I hope you found this entire series super useful. I had a ton of fun making this game. Obviously, Halo had a huge impact on me at growing up. It's been out for 20 years now, and it just keeps getting more fun to play. So I hope you found this useful. I hope you found it fun. If you did, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. That helps me out a ton. I hope you've been enjoying everything I've been rolling out. Um, you know, if there's a specific tutorial or subject that you want to see more of, just let me know about in the comments below. I'll do my best to make videos on what you guys really want to see. And uh, as always, good luck with your code. Thanks for checking out the series. Thanks for checking out the channel. And I'll see you next time. All right. Bye.